Welcome back, everyone. Everyone here in Corpus Christi, we're all on high alert for signs of E. coli exposure after the bacteria was found in our water system. So here to explain more about the symptoms and the risks are Dr. George Benavides and Dr. Sarita Warwick. Thank you both for being here. Let's get right to it. We have sure. limited time. Let's talk about the side effects of E. coli. Side effects and how long does it stay in our system? Absolutely. So some of the symptoms of E. coli would be uh, fever, diarrhea, um, blood in the stool, vomiting, nausea, that sort of thing. Uh, you'll notice symptoms about three, two to th sorry, two to four days after exposure, uh -huh. but sometimes up to a week after as at, well. At what point do you know that you have to go see the doctor? I think best uh, to see the physician, you have fever, uh -huh. or you have blood in the stool, mm -hmm. you have cramps that you're not able to control, um, vomiting is always a good one, mm -hmm. or you have multiple family members that have been having the same symptoms. That have been exposed as well. Yeah. So why is this, we're taking such extra caution with you know, having to boil the water and everything, is this mm -hmm. a dangerous bug? It can be. Uh, you should boil the water to about 160 degrees, a, a full boil for about two minutes. Mm -hmm. There is a type of bacteria, E. coli, that can cause severe cramping, severe nausea and vomiting, and, and bloody stool, like mm -hmm. we discussed this. Mm -hmm. Those are certainly signs that need to be recognized, and if you have any doubt, you should call your physician, and if you're really sick, you ought to present yourself to the emergency room. But I think that right now, this is probably a little overcautious for the city, mm -hmm. and I don't blame them. Sure. You know, public health is all always a first priority. Absolutely. And how does it get into our food? How does it get into mm -hmm. our water? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a bacteria that's found in the intestines of humans and animals. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's theories that it's possible with flooding that it's able to get into the lakes and streams and eventually our water supply. Mm -hmm. um, it's also important to wash hands. Mm -hmm. And that's why in restaurants and even at home, it's important to wash hands in hospitals and, and really for everyone. For everyone. Mm -hmm. We'll do this real quick. Uh, is it okay to use the tap water to brush my teeth? Probably so. Probably so. What about to wash your hands for dishwashing and washing clothes? Use a good soap and use a bactericidal uh, hand wash too. It's a good thing for you. What about the water? Is it safe for bathing and shaving? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're good on that. All right. Doctors, thank you all so much for everything. If you have any questions, I think, about um, this type of bacteria or E. coli, is there anywhere that you guys suggest that people can go to online? Mm -hmm. The CDC does have information. Okay. Uh, the World Health Organization as well. Good. Pretty online. easy to mm -hmm. go and Google and check it out as well. Doctors, Excellent. thank you both. Really appreciate it. Have a good day. And thank after you. the break, uh, meteorologist Phil Vesey with a look at your weather. Thank you.